aware of vision, dream, and passion killers. Family and friends, in most cases, sad to even say this, family and friends in most cases will be the first to try and talk you out of something that you're passionate, excited about, and that you have a vision for. Most of the people that have no dreams will wake up every day trying to talk you out of your dreams. They have no goals. They have nothing that they're ambitious about. Create your own reality by choosing your future. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything. The most powerful motivational speeches that I have ever heard came from people who told me I couldn't do something. <laughs> you know why? Because when they told me I couldn't do it, I was bound and determined to show them that I could. Tell me I can't do it. I will prove you wrong. I will show you <laughs> that you mistake it because I believe, and this is real important, I can't, will thwart you, will stop you, will slow you down, will turn you around and cause you to move backwards if you let it, but if you have the proper mindset, I can't, will do nothing but make you that more determined to get to your goal. One problem, the violin. Because to do what you do, you've got to be a world-class violinist. Because if you don't, when you're moving around and being thrown around and still trying to play, you end up doing what you did, and that's missing loads of notes. And there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Seriously, that bad. But you're not good enough, I don't think, to get away with flying through the air and trying to play the violin at the same time. I don't think what you're doing right now is enough to fill a, a theater in, in Vegas. Th that much movement made you not as great as you were, made you not as great as you were. Who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. People who discourage us. You know the people that you have in your life who, no matter how good of a day you're having, they'll bring you down. Or no matter how bad of a day you're having, they'll bring you even lower. You know what I'm talking about? Think of the three biggest discouragers in your life. They're not your biggest discouragers. You are. Dear candidate, thank you for your application to our ballet academy. Unfortunately, you have not been accepted. You lack the right feet, Achilles tendons, turnout, torso length, and bust. You have the wrong body for ballet. And at 13, you are too old to be considered. So you don't think you can? You don't think you can do it? Think again. No, you can. If you haven't done it, keep striving. Keep working. Don't let up. Things don't come easy. You gotta find it, whatever it is, within yourself. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. So, just because you fail, doesn't mean you're a failure, all right? So I just need you to do me a huge, huge favor. And I just need you to keep going, try to make that one different decision that you've not made before. And then my last one is don't let the distractions distract you. <laughs> I know, real simple. But don't let the distractions distract you.
Failure is not an option. When you go into it, I want you to go into everything you do, listen to me, as if failure is not an option, all right? It's not a button, it's not a label, it does not exist. You can do it. Don't let nobody steal your dream. I used to ask myself, can I do this? And something said within me, you're the one. You're the one. If you want to be great, not good, not also grand, not second, not third, if you want to be great, the very best at what you do, obsession is a necessity. Once you have that magnificent obsession, once you question impossible the two keys, then when somebody like that tells you you can't do something, you have chosen the wrong one to tell something like that to. I will show you, I will show you what I can do. I will show you, I will turn your I can't, I will never, I won't, it's impossible. I will turn it around and I will show you that I can do anything.